Hi Year 5, I'm just going to talk you through your math lesson for today. So today's Tuesday, we're looking at number and place value and on your my maths, this one's called counting five. Alright, now when you come to do this, there will be different numbers um, on your screen than what you see than what I do here. Um, every time you log into my maths, the numbers are always different. Alright, remember that. So the concept's exactly the same, but the numbers will be different. So I'm not showing you the answers, I'm showing you how to do it. Don't forget you can go back and repeat the um, tasks as many times as you want until you've got a really good score. Alright, that's really important. If you don't get a good score first time, have another go and have another go again. That's what gets you better and better. Alright, so remember, be resilient. Right, I'm going to whiz through the first few bits of this because I think it's quite easy. And I think you'll be fine with it. But Tom's teacher is setting some addition problems and here are some of them. Alright, so we've got some big numbers. 30,167 and we're writing on either 10, 20 or 30. So it's starting you off quite easy. So what you notice is that we're adding on uh, multiples of 10, all right? You know from your place value knowledge that you know where the tens number is on the place value, all right? So we've got a six in the tens number here. So if you're adding on one 10, you just add on one to that six to become seven. I'm sure you already know that. So we're just gonna have a look through. Tom's gonna do it on a number line. Okay, number lines, I always tell you this, don't you, year five, number lines are the best resource that you can use in maths because you can use one at any time, wherever you are, just draw it a number line. All right, always remember that. So if we start off at 13,167 and we need to add on 10, all right, we're going to do a jump of 10 and we'll end up at 13,177. Just like I said, you're using your place value knowledge there to have to add on one ten into your tens column, all right? So that tens column has gone up by one from six to seven, all right? So you want to add on 20, you add on two lots of 10 and you end up at 13,187 and three lots of 10, 30, you end up at 13,197. Hopefully that's really clear, but breaking it down on a number line in steps of 10. Let's move on. Here are some other questions from Tom's test. So you'll notice here that not, we're not using tens this time, we're using hundreds. But going back to your place value knowledge, you know where that hundreds column is. So you know that currently here, we've got a two in the hundreds column. All right, so if you wanted to add on 100, it's gonna go up by one, that place value column. So 200 add 100 would be 300. And then you could add 200, add 300. Again, Tom's using a number line to break it down. Right? You need to use a number line, absolutely fine. We start off with our number 37,228. We add on 100 and we've gone on to 33,328. That 100, that place value column, that 100 place value col column has gone up by one. And another 100, 37,428. Add on another 100, 37, 528. Every time it's that hundreds column that's, that's moved up by one. We can use this strategy to work with decimals, all right? Decimal numbers are no more difficult than whole numbers, so we don't need to be afraid of them. We can see here that we're, we're, we're adding on in tenths now. 0 0.1 is one tenth. 0 0.2 is two tenths. 0 0.3 is three tenths. We know that because your digit, the one, the two and the three are in the tenths column. All right, so Tom draws a number line again and he's counting on in jumps of 0 0.1. So we're starting off at 5.62. So if we look at 5.62, we know that six is in our tenths column. So it's the six that's going to change each time. So 5.62 at 0 0.1 becomes 5.72, which becomes 5.82, which becomes 5.92. Again, keep bringing it back to that place value knowledge. It's so important. Keep thinking about the place value. Um, Akina has a similar maths test and she's now working in chunks of thousands. So hopefully you're not going to know what I'm going to say next. What am I going to say next? You're going to go to your thousands column, aren't you? So you're going to look at what's in your thousands place value column and it's a six. So that's the column that's going to change each time when Akina draws her number line. So she's starting off with a number of 86,653. She's going to add a thousand. Oh no, we're subtracting this time. I nearly got caught out then. All right, so be really, really careful. I nearly missed my operation. All right, we're subtracting, we're not adding. So that's why I've gone to this end of the number line and I'm working backwards because I'm subtracting. 
So I'm starting at 86,653, subtract 1,000, this 6 is going to become a 5, subtract another 1,000, it's going to become 4, another 1,000, and it's going to become 3. So we end up with 83,653. Again, don't get, don't get tripped up like I did then. Have a look at that operation. Be really, really careful. All right, we all do it sometimes. Um, right, let's move on. Now she's going to work with 10,000s. I'm being hyper alert now. She's still subtracting. So she's going to subtract in chunks of 10,000. So she's going to go to a 10,000 place value column, which has got a 3 in it here. Right, so that it's that 3 that's going to change each time when she subtracts 10,000. So we start off with 531,099. At this end of the number line, because we're subtracting, we're going backwards. Subtract 10,000, so that 3 is going to become a 2. Subtract another 10,000, it's going to become a 1. So we've got, we'll just stop there for a sec, 511,099. So I'm taking off another 10,000, so that 1's going to become a 0. Now I would hope, because I know we've done this in class, that you could go on and take another 10,000 off that, and you know what would happen here. What would happen here if we've got 501,000 and I wanted to subtract 10,000? What would it become? I'm hoping you're telling me that it would become 491,099. Okay, right, let's move on. Right, we're going to have a quick look at negative numbers and then I'm going to leave you to it because a lot of this is uh, looking at games, playing games to get this really um, strong in your mind. Right, we've got 2 minus 10. What I don't want you to do is flip that around and say that's the same as 10 minus 2 because we all know that it's not, all right? We're starting off with 2 and I need to subtract 10 from it. Now, I haven't got my place value to work with here quite as easily, so my number line is going to become a little bit more important, right? But I'm starting off with 2. So on my number line, I'm going to place 2. All right, there it is. It's 2 up from a 0. My zero's already in there. I need to subtract two, uh, subtract 10, sorry. So I'm going to start at 2 and I'm going to go back 10. All right? Now, this just does one great big jump. You should be able to say, well, I know this is right because it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've subtracted 10, but how am I going to know what that number is? Because there's no numbers, there's no digits on my number line. So I'm going to have to count backwards. And we know how to count backwards, don't we? So we start off at 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. So if we click next, we've landed on minus 8. So that's how we're using our number line to subtract using negative numbers. If I want to subtract another 10 from that now, so I've subtracted 2 lots of 10, which is 20, to subtract 20, I start off at my minus 8. I count back 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I know I'm going to land here, this blue arrow was right, but I need to know the value of that. So I might know it straight away in my head, or I might not be quite so sure. So I'm just going to count from minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13, minus 14, minus 15, minus 16, minus 17, minus 18. Yes, I'm right, okay? And then I can do that again. So subtract another 10, so I've subtracted 30. Do you want to make a prediction of what that's going to be? Where have I landed? I've gone from minus 18, I'm subtracting 10. Yeah, do you think it's minus 28? You're right, excellent. Okay, pop our answers in. And then if we have a look, lots of games for you to have a go at working through and applying all that knowledge. When you come to... This one, right, this one wants you to match up the tiles to complete the sequence. So these are the sequences with multiple numbers in, in the pale colours, and these are the answers of the what replace the question marks, all right? So if we look at this one, for example, I've got 244.40, 244.50, 244 244.60, what's going to be next? I'm looking for 244. 0 0.70 so I tap them both and they'll disappear and that's how you play that game all right have fun um, email me if you need any help with anything see you soon